From great big messes to little spills, accidents are a part of life. Most of us try to avoid these problems, but sometimes accidents can be very lucky. Sometimes they can change the world. Take penicillin, for example. You might not think you could discover a wonder drug by forgetting to wash your dishes. But that's what happened to the scientist Alexander Fleming in 1928. He was positive he could find a drug that would kill bacteria in the human body. His lab was full of Petri dishes containing different types of bacteria. He should have cleaned the Petri dishes in his lab before he went on vacation, but he didn't. When he returned two weeks later, they were covered in mold. Yuck! But in one of the dishes, the mold seemed to be causing a problem for the bacteria. It was actually pushing the bacteria away. Fleming suspected this accidental growth of mold could be the key to the wonder drug he was looking for. And he guessed right. Today, penicillin is the most widely used antibiotic drug in the world. What would have happened if Fleming had washed the dishes like he was supposed to? Everyone knows that melted chocolate is a real messy problem. But when Percy Spencer put some chocolate in his pocket, he discovered the microwave oven. In 1945, Spencer was working with something called a magnetron, used in radar technology for the military. One day, when standing close to the magnetron, he noticed the candy bar in his pocket melted quickly. He figured the magnetron must be responsible, and he started to experiment. He had a hunch the magnetron could heat up food, so he tried corn kernels and made the world's first batch of microwave popcorn. When he heated an egg and it exploded all over a coworker, he realized he needed to create some protection. He solved the problem by containing the microwaves in a box, and the microwave oven was born. Think of all the microwave dinners you would have missed if Percy Spencer had ignored his messy chocolate problem. Anybody who owns a dog knows for a fact, if you let your dog run through the field, he'll come back covered in burrs. George de Mastral let his dog run through the brush anyway during a hunting trip in 1941. As he was dealing with the problem and picking off the burrs at home, he wondered what made these little things stick so well. He put the stuff under the microscope and identified the problem. The burrs had lots of tiny hooks that easily attached to the small loops in clothing and fur. That gave de Mistral an idea. He was sure that if he could create a product that did the same thing, it would be very popular. He had to try lots of different prototypes, but he finally found one that worked. And when astronauts started using it to keep things from floating around in space, and sneakers began using it instead of shoelaces, Georges de Mistral was certain his Velcro was here to stay. So the next time you have to clean up a little accident, think to yourself, what might I discover here? <laughs>